Separation is confirmed. And physical separation Christina, confirmed. Bye bye. See you soon, guys. The Soyuz vehicle is a very reliable vehicle. Our Russian partners are, are well experienced with uh, descent in, uh, back to Earth. But, you know, I'm typically very concerned about uh, the, both the descent and, and the landing. There are still risks, significant risks associated with space flights. And if some systems fail, that's what we train on the ground for years. If in case something doesn't work the way it should be, uh, that's what we're prepared for. It was uh, it was a relief. I think the biggest relief for me came uh, just seeing the parachute open. Uh, that's kind of the the moment when you're like, okay, you know, all the main things have happened. Everything's going to be okay here. Every organ system in the body has to readjust to this one G world that we take for for granted including uh, his cardiovascular system, which may not be pumping blood quite as strongly uh, uh, post-flight as it did uh, uh, pre-flight to his brain. So he's feeling a little bit uh, lightheaded right now. All these problems reverse themselves after 12 or 24 hours back on Earth. He'll be fine later today. Just fell back from the sky. Gravity is not my friend. <laughs> But the, you know what's striking me is the smell of grass, the smell of the wild grass here. It's just beautiful. And, and Thank you. Do you feel like you're all messed up inside or what? Yeah, I mean, gravity is not my friend. I, uh, I'm having these, uh, you know, I need to learn, to learn to walk again. Any people could do a very, very fine job, but the recruitment programs are extraordinarily competitive. Uh, the hardest part, I sometimes say, is to get in into an astronaut program. And then afterwards, it's, uh, it's hard work, but it's certainly attainable where you have to stay fit. Canada, through uh, David Saint-Jacques' uh, mission, has become even more experienced in uh, space operations. We're looking forward to uh, deep space exploration, a return to the moon, a visit to an asteroid, and then perhaps in 15 years or so from now, uh, walking on, on the planet Mars for a number of good, good reasons. So the kind of skills that David developed uh, during the last uh, six, seven months are the kinds of skills that we're going to need to push the frontiers further into deep space. <laughs>